All right, some more work on uh, these right triangles. I haven't seen these problems on the test, but they very well fit to up on there. Uh, <clears throat> well, actually, I have seen some where it gives you the, actually for finding the area, but uh, I'm going to add something else here. If you know the area of this, uh, which is half of a base times the height, this is the base, this is the height, or you also have this is the base. And so the area of this is 6, but then from that we can find this altitude here also. And now I found that a lot of times students have trouble drawing those accurately, but if you take something like this and put it up here, you see that that's got to fit there. Same way here, so that you get that uh, altitude drawn in the right place. But uh, in any case, um, so to find this H here, 1 half H times 5, this is the base and this is the height. Every triangle has three altitudes, this one, these two, and this one. And so since the area is the same triangle, so the area is six, so uh, if you multiply both sides of this by two, you would have 5H equals 30. I mean, uh, not two, but uh, yeah, two to get rid of that fraction. It would be 5H equals 12, or H equals uh, 12 over five, which is two and uh, what? Two divided by 10, two and two. Fifths or uh, all right, and the same thing with this one. The area would be one half five times twelve, which is uh, half of twelve six times five is thirty, and it's the same triangle. So half of this times this would give you what the h is there. Once again, if you double both sides, so multiply both sides of this equation by two, you get thirteen h equals sixty. So H would be 60 over 13, which uh, if you work that out, it would be 4 and uh, what, 8 thirteenths? Uh, yeah. Let's see, is that right? Uh, yeah. 